Liz Shield is on the line with us. She is the editor-at-large at PJ Media. PJmedia.com is the website and the author of a new article titled, which you can read over at PJmedia.com, If They Can't Get Your Guns, They'll Get Your Ammo. Liz, welcome. Hi, thanks for having me, Tom. Yeah, it's, it's nice to talk to you. Um, I, I, your, your article is basically a rant against this piece of legislation, the Stop Online Ammunition Sales Act of 2015 that was introduced by uh, Bonnie Watson, the Democrat from New Jersey, in the House of Representatives. Um, what is wrong with stopping the Adam Lanzas of the world from buying thousands and thousands of rounds of ammunition on the Internet? Well, I don't think you're just going to be stopping the Adam Lanzas. You're going to be stopping a lot of people who buy ammunition in bulk who are law-abiding citizens, like a sports shooter, for instance. Um, I'm a sports shooter, and I do have to buy ammunition in bulk on occasion. And so I would then be put through this inconvenience, me and many other Americans, um, and I'm not really sure it's effective. Liz, I am a sports shooter, too, and I've, okay. never, and, and I've never had a problem walking into a licensed gun dealer, and I do it with some regularity. My, one of my f- three brothers is a, is a major sports shooter, and whenever I get back to Michigan, that's what we do. We, 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 he's got a target range in his backyard. He lives out in rural Michigan. And, and uh, he and his wife and my wife and I, we, com- we competitively shoot for fun. I am not hysterically worried if I have to go into a gun shop and show my ID, I mean, it's, it's like, I, I don't get this. Why Republicans are all like, you got to show an ID to vote. You got to show an ID to get on an airplane. You got to show an ID to buy Sudafed. What the hell's wrong with showing an ID to buy ammunition? It kills people. Well, it does kill people. But what you're talking about is, a, is the bill, the proposed bill states a thousand rounds, um, more than a thousand rounds um, within five consecutive days. Have you ever fired more than a thousand rounds in five days? I have. Because okay, I then you're you're at high risk here. for lead poisoning. You know. So I have, and and I'm, I'm not serious. Saying I do it all the time because ammunition prices, as you know, because you're a shooter, have skyrocketed. So I have to be very economical about my shooting. But yes, actually, I have. If I shoot in a tournament, I do shoot a thousand more than a thousand rounds. So what's wrong with showing ID? Um, but I think it's unnecessary. I mean, it's like asking. But but you want people to show ID when they vote? Um. Yes, I think they should show ID when they vote. Okay, so our vote, our, our right to, 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 to kill people is more important than our right to vote. But, but really, what percentage of people who are out there on the street killing people are purchasing 1,000 rounds within a five-day consecutive period? Uh, let me refer you to Waco, Texas. Okay, last... that's Waco, Te- First of all, that's not one, one person. You're talking about a group of people. Who had thousands of rounds of ammunition. But among how many people were arrested? 190. So you're not talking about, it's not like one person came and said, here's the ammo. We are awash in ammunition, Liz. How There's no shortage of this. You know, I, I stand with Rand Paul on this. Rand Paul, yes. Washington, D.C., are all of those people purchasing more than 1,000 rounds at once? No. In fact, I'll venture to say almost none of them are. Okay, two, two questions. Okay. Yesterday on the floor of the Senate, Rand Paul said, I would, and I'm paraphrasing from memory, but it's, you know, it's not word for word. But he said, basically, I would like to ask my fellow conservatives to please have as much concern for the fourth amendment as they do for the second amendment and here's why i think conservatives by and large don't care so much about the fourth amendment uh, it's just you know but they do care about the second because the second amendment is generating following the second amendment in quotes is generating billions of dollars in profits every month for the weapons industry in this country and they recycle a lot of that money in both into conservative media and to conservative and republican politicians whereas the fourth amendment if you follow the fourth amendment there's nobody making money on it if you break the fourth amendment on the other hand companies like booz allen hamilton who who ed snowden worked for they're making billions breaking the fourth amendment well, why don't we, why don't, I, it seems to me like our priorities are totally screwed up. Well, I'm not going to disagree with you on that, because if you, uh, you're talking to somebody who values the Fourth Amendment as much as the Second, and if you go to pjmedia.com, you will see me reading the charge in support of Rand Paul and exactly what he's doing. So I'm not the best person to, I'm not going to say the Second Amendment is more important than the Fourth, because I'm, I'm simply not going to say that. And, and, and let me and, add and to yes, that. Yes, it is an industry, but do you know how much money the firearms industry and and that includes hunting, shooting supplies, shooting clothing, anything related to the industry. A lot of that money actually goes back into conservation, 
We're taxed. Oh, come on, Liz. We, are, we have extra taxes put on all the money that we do spend related to shooting that goes into conservation. So it's not just a bunch that of is greedy the, robber Liz, bears. that is the thinnest fig leaf, and you know that. It's not. It's a fact. Is, but, it, it, look, I'm a capitalist. You know, if, if you want to make money, if you want, if you want conservation, it, I go for it. If you want conservation, go do it like Teddy Roosevelt. You know, be in favor of national parks. Be in favor. I'm, I'm all in favor of conservation. We don't need to have more weapons of war. We don't need to have more bullets on our streets and more guns on our streets. It, uh, but, but, but even I mean, this this Bonnie Walsh is Chicago. Looking but, at gun violence in Washington D.C. or in Baltimore on an average weekend. How many of those people that are regularly out there killing other people are buying ammunition in quantities of a thousand or more? How many of them are buying it online? I mean, this, that's the goal of this legislation. Not. It's called the Stop not. Online Ammunition Sales Act. I would say they wouldn't, but, what, but people who do buy it online are people like me. I regularly get emails from my preferred vendors telling me of sales. People like you who do shoot uh, as a sport and people who, who are, are hunters... Those are people who do buy their ammunition online. So I th- you are inconveniencing me. I'm going to have to take time out. And, and I think it's entirely to appropriate to inconvenience and, people who want something that will kill other no, people. And, but but how many? What percentage? But it's it's not an eff- it's not effective. What percentage of people? It is absolutely are out there effective. Constantly murdering people. No, no, Liz, are buying more than a thousand rounds. Liz, this time. this this debate has been, is is over. It absolutely is effective. If you look at gun violence in Chicago versus gun violence in New York City, you will see a big difference. Why? Because in New York City, the surrounding counties and states have gun control. In Chicago, the surrounding cities and and, and counties do not. And so the, the vast majority of the shootings that happen in Chicago are with ammunition that was bought in Indiana or was bought, you know, outside of Chicago, whereas in New York City, there's just, there, there are not anywhere near as much shootings. But Violence has been going down steadily Chicago, since the 1980s. You can go into a Walmart and you can buy a box of ammo, and that is right. probably exactly how this stuff has happened. When you show your ID. Consumers of online. And let me add something else. You know, if I have to go into a store... And show, and, and it's not as I'm not a fan of showing ID, but there's an additional charge to for vote. that process. So now you're again making it even more expensive for me to purchase ammunition, and I'm not a criminal. And most people who right. buy so ammunition bulk are not. So it's expensive to get an ID, and 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 therefore you should show the ID to vote. Well, it's what ten dollars to get a, an ID. I'm Liz, let me let me if I, if I may, I, I think we're kind of going around in circles here. Well, uh, if I could just toss another thing out in the minute that we have left. It's uh, similar the, to the when you go to buy a gun and you have to pay a fifty dollar. It's usually fifty dollars for them to process the paperwork and run a background check. Which is so, which is fine with a, me, Liz. Yeah. Hang on just a second. Okay. TPP, the the fast track just passed the Senate. Yes, I saw that with with twelve Democratic votes and 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 Rand Paul voted against it to yeah, his not credit. A fan of it. Uh, it was there were several. Mike Lee voted against it. Some some Republicans who voted against this. TPP. If this harmonizes gun standards, we're going to end up with Japan's gun standards, where it's illegal to own any gun or any ammunition whatsoever. Is that a concern of yours? Yes, it is actually. I'm not a fan of the TPP. So. Have, have you seen the ObamaTrade.com website? No, I haven't. It's great. It's a conservative website. It's the conservative arguments against Obama Trade TPP. And, uh, you know, I strongly encourage you to check it out. It just seems to me like this this issue is a relatively small issue. You know, the idea that people can buy anonymously, can buy ammunition online is not a good thing for us. It's not a huge issue. It's not like they're trying to buy surface-to-air missiles. But, you know, there are, you know, the, the Fourth Amendment is being broken. Our right to vote is being broken. Our, 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 we're giving away our sovereignty. I mean, it's like big stuff going on. Anyhow, Liz, I, 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 I'm blithering and we're out of time. <laughs> thank Liz, you thank you for dropping by. PJmedia.com is the website. You can read Liz's piece. If they can't get your guns, they'll get your am- ammo uh, right over there at PJ Media. Thanks, Liz. Bye.